Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Topics with me. Now, in this episode, I actually have something interesting that we want to talk about. Now, usually I'm not about trending and, and wanting to do all these kinds of episodes about things that are recently relevant. I like to talk about lots of things. It could be commented things, it could be any kind of other thing, but this one has really gotten me by the head. And I'll tell you what in a second, but if you guys notice, I'm a little more jumpier than usual. I'm trying to make my, um, what is it? My, my person, my, my natural personality from the outside world come into my YouTube videos. And that's why I'm a little jumpy today, as well as I'm a little sick. Um, <clears throat> I caught the, the weekly, the, the yearly flu and everything. It's not really a flu, but it's a cold, uh, what do they call it? They call it flu season. And I caught that a little bit, but the best thing about that is if you get it, you don't really get it until maybe um, maybe next year. So thank you guys for watching this episode. Uh, let's begin without further ado. Let's roll it. My name is Derek Amal, and I am proud to be. I'm in another town with my family. And so I found a place where everyone will be. Let's talk discreetly. This is topics with me. So, like I mentioned in the intro, we're gonna be talking about something just a little bit different. Now, if you guys haven't watched the news, or if you guys don't know what Apple is, or if you guys just don't, uh, this is your first video that you've ever watched. You're scrolling through YouTube, and by luck, you found me. Please subscribe and uh, like in the comments below as well as commenting so you get future video um, recommendations and stuff like that. Anyway, put that aside. I phone X S plus or max. Yes. Eventually I'd be, be able to talk about it and I have to. It's an obligation to talk about this. As you guys know, the iPhone XR, XS, XS Max have been released not only a week ago. Now they're expensive. The most expensive model would be the 100, uh, no, no, 520, um, 8 gigabytes. What do they have nowadays? Hold on, give me a minute. 512 gigabytes. What is someone gonna do with that? Now, me, myself, I make videos. I make them on an iPhone SE. They just canceled it. I'm kind of sad. I can't go to Apple and ask them, hey, can I get one of you uh, fanciest uh, budget phones? And then they'll say, "What? well, we only have one budget phone and that's the Hesse, you see? And I was looking forward in the future to just saying that and everything, but of course my dreams are crushed. I have to go to eBay or <clears throat> Craigslist to go and get my phone or my mom's phone at the moment and get it from that copy but the thing is they canceled the iphone x production line so everyone that has the phone from last year can't exactly get a new one but they do repair phones up from the newest ones to even the iphone 2g which is the original one so it's nice that they do that service still but 512 gigabytes even when i make videos and i have a 16 gigabyte phone on my phone yeah uh that's a little bit too much and with that, you'd have to be paying about 1500 and that's that's about a thousand more than you'd have to pay for a phone about 10 years ago. The highest quality phone 10 years ago. Now, it's not like I don't like Apple as a company. They fixed a notch issue with the iPhone X and the X series, of course, um, where they have the notch you can tap it and it can zoom out the video because it's 16 by 9. This current videos are 16 by 9, which is most phones nowadays. But the iPhone X is about 18 by 9 aspect ratio, which means it's just a little bit wider than the videos, which means they have an advantage of tapping it or zooming out so the viewer can see the entire video with no blocked notch or anything. My problem comes not even with the Touch ID. I've lived a long time without Touch ID and honestly, I don't mind. I don't mind about that. But the thing that gets me the most is the headphone jack. Now, I know you gotta adapt to the newer times and get those Bluetooth headphones, but I can't afford Bluetooth headphones at the, at the moment. And if I go with the ones that I currently have, they're kind of fragile. So if I break those, that's pretty much the end. The ones that they provide in the casing, um, 
Yeah, they're not going to do that anymore. You have to go out and buy your own hair pods or your Beats, whatever, or just buy a cheaper brand that supports iPhones or something. So unless I have... Okay, so me, I have about 12 different pairs of headphones. I like to be prepared. I have three normal ones. Um, then I have a few backups. And by a few, I mean about eight or nine or possibly ten. Wow! So... I have those backups ready to go. I give some to my mom sometimes if she needs headphones because I don't really use them. I'm very careful with the headphones that I do have. So I don't really need um, a new phone at the moment. And the and the, I, I love iPhones. I just can't get away from that ecosystem that they have. I've had an iPhone since the iPhone 3GS and the 4S and the SE and <clears throat> it's kind of hard to stray away. Because by then, um, they'll be kind of losing support for this in about two, three years. And I can live for three years with the same phone, trust me. And pretty much that's what I need. When the newer phones come out, when the older ones, I'll probably get the second to the newest one and then just move on from there. I don't mind adapting, but it's just, at the moment, I just can't at the moment. So it's kind of, expensively ridiculous to get a price of that much I, I could honestly settle for a 32 gigabyte because I've only used 16 gigabytes for my phones in the past and now and I've been able to make good storage out of them I don't use too many apps I don't take too many photos and even if I do I, up, I upload them to Google Photos and I make my videos about two two of them would be at most 10 minutes and that oh, that's the thing that fills up my phone and Apple kind of doesn't clear the cache which is the extra data being used to save um, kind of a setting onto it so it doesn't have to load quicker the next time and that's what they don't clear and I have to find a way to clear that or have to reset my phone every week but for now I'm resetting my phone every week so I can at least make videos for you guys and for myself because I love making videos and I do love comments and stuff like that speaking of which please comment down below of anything of use um, please please I'm really trying to get some suggestions of from you guys I'm really trying to open myself out there if I didn't have a code right now I would just be all over the place like I usually am but the thing is of my code that's the main issue that I have anyway I'm gonna make this video shorter for me than usual because well you already know why the announcements are just said um uh thank you for watching my video but bye okay